going on guys this is your boy King Dial back here with a brand new video and we're going to be playing some Warframe today so Warframe as you all know it's been a game that's came out back in 2013 it's a pretty old game but they've released an update and I saw it featured on the PlayStation Store so I thought I'd give it another whirl uh, I'll play through the tutorial and basically just got that out of the way so we can get straight into playing and I went ahead and customized my character a little bit right here and went through and played a couple missions and got some stuff done and just trying to get a handle back on what the game used to be and trying to learn the mechanics again. Uh, I haven't got too far into the story to see how much they have added. I got pretty far into it once before. It reminds me a lot of Destiny and Destiny 2 with all the grinding you have to do. Loot and shoot, get the, I think they call it Platinum in Warframe. and You can unlock uh, custom weapons and uh, the dies for your character and unlock other uh, they call them Tenno they're like alien species that you play as in the game there are several of those that you can play as so what I did was I went ahead and went with like an electric green and blue color here so I could uh, this character is named Volt he is a electric type Tenno he does a electric damage on his special ability and as we go along we'll be unlocking more special abilities and upgrading our Tenno as we play through the story mode so yeah I decided on playing this due to uh, the new update I read something about they added open world to it and back when I used to play it was still pretty early they hadn't added a lot of features to it yet remember there was a bunch of bugs going around but we used to get on here and play for hours at a time just grinding through the missions and it did get tedious after a while because it felt like you were on the same map doing the same missions over and over again but it feels like it's grown more as a community and as a game from what I can tell and uh, it just brings back some old memories of playing with friends and I appreciate that they are still continuing to update this game six years later so you see here we're going into our first mission after the tutorial and I'm still pretty rusty with the controls so Bear with me while I work through some stuff here. What I like a lot about it is the uh, movability of the characters. You can be very agile and there's a lot of slides and jumps that you can do to get your character through it. At the beginning of the game you have to select between a sword, a staff, a pistol, and like a submachine gun. And then you got your primary weapons, which was a bow and a fully auto machine gun, which I went ahead and selected the bow. I felt like I would do better with it, but as I continue through this gameplay some more, I didn't do as hard as I thought I would. I uh, missed a few shots here and there, but still trying to get the handle over it. As I play some more, I think the rust will shake off a little bit more and I'll be hitting more shots. But one thing that I thought was crazy about this game was the map and the style that they have for this game. It's like it's completely on style. Like I said, it reminds me of Destiny quite a bit with the style it does have but I really enjoy that they created their own universe and added their own features into the game to make it its completely own game. I'm kind of embarrassed of this clip right here. I missed like three shots on this dude that's just barely walking. Finally get the third one. Fourth one. It's very sad to see, but like I said, Rusty at the game will probably shake off with time. Um, uh, one cool element I like about the game is when you use the bow weapon, it has a name, but I'm not quite sure what the name was. Uh, but when you use the bow weapon, you're able to pin enemies against walls and they kind of ragdoll. So they have their own ragdoll phys physics in the game, which is pretty cool. Which is hard to uh, uh, get the mechanics into back in the day, back in 2013. Like I said, this was a very early game when I played it. They've added a lot. I read on there somewhere about pets. You can get pets now that follow you around which as I play through the game more, we'll be unlocking more and more stuff just as we grind it out. Uh, I notice, as you can see later in the gameplay, that I have the, the squads that you have handled squads before. I'm going to probably turn that ability off until a later date when I get some more people that I can play with, but for now I'll probably just turn it off as I grind through missions, unless the missions are just way too challenging for me to get through, which I think here in the early game as I play through the first... I don't know, say 10, 15 missions as I upgrade my character, I think I'll be good. Um, there was, in, during the tutorial, there wasn't too much going on. That's why I kind of just skipped through it while I, until this, this part. It was basically just like basics of how to play the game. It didn't really give too much background. It just told you 
that you are a Tenno and you were enslaved and these uh, robot pe people put these uh, mach these machines on you, one's on your ankle and it's like tapping into your core energy and they're like trying to control you and like the main point of the game so far is to try and uh, that guy that you see there in the right hand side, uh, you're supposed to try and find him and kill him because he's the one that's trying to control you. So basically that's the storyline so far, so you didn't really miss too much. And as you've seen there, that was the special ability for uh, Volt. He shoots this lightning out of his hands and it kills, uh, I'm not sure how many people it kills in an area. I had up to four or five throughout this video that I would kill at a time. But uh, there's more abilities I saw, like an ability tree you can unlock as you go through the game. So that's going to be cool to learn all the special abilities for each Tenno as we go along. I looked at the Tenno list uh, shortly after this video, and there's uh, quite a few of them, but some of them seem like really grindy, so we're going to have to go through. And it uh, looks like the bigger ones that you can unlock is going to take quite a bit of time to get. But they also have better abilities that you can use. So once we get up through there, we can decide which one we want to main and play from there. I'm not entirely sure if there's anything like raids on this game. I just know there's uh, quite a bit of missions you can do. And then after that, I'm not entirely sure. I didn't see anything for like a multiplayer PvP, PvP feature, which would be kind of cool to add. But I'm not sure about that either. It'd be nice for them to add that though. It'd be pretty cool to add to the game. And uh, we completed the first mission there, and I upgrade, uh, unlocked some modifications. Uh, I didn't realize until the end that you can't even really use those. I kind of just looked through them and seen what they did. Some of them uh, go on your sword and stuff, make it do more damage. Some do more weapon damage. It just depends. And uh, at the end, uh, apparently our ship was kidnapped while we were kidnapped by the robot people. I think they were called the Vox. That's what they were called. Welcome back, and uh, slowly as you'll see the through the gameplay, the there's components missing and I'll go through towards the end of the video and add the modifications. So I haven't added any modifications to our weapons yet, but as I do remember there's quite a few that you can add and I remember you can uh, take them off so you'll be able to add more as you go along. And then right here I added the black market and there's a Tenno and Costumes and skins and weapons you can buy for your character as you go along. Like I looked at a gun right there. Uh, it takes platinum and then some other type of in-game currency. It looks like I'm not sure if you can unlock that or it's something you have to pay for. And then, uh, I was looking right here. Like one of a uh, few of these guns, it looks like some of them take platinum, which you earn in the game. But the other ones, I'm not entirely sure. But as you go along, we'll probably unlock more guns. I'm sure there's some that you can buy pretty easily. It sucks to have the same gun for the rest of the game, but like I said, I'm getting better with the bow. As you see, as I go on the second mission, it puts me in a party with another player. Uh, I do rather well. Most of the time when I play with other people like this that I don't really know, I kind of just try and grind through the whole mission to see what I can get. The guy I was playing with kind of just ran past everything, which in a game like this, as I said, I've played Destiny before, and in a game like that, you don't want to pass too many things up because that means that you're not going to have it later on when you do need it and you'll have to come back and do it again. So I was trying to get as much of the platinum and little ores and stuff that you see on the ground. Uh, you break them open and collect them. I was trying to get as much of that as I could. That way we could go along and have what we needed to when we do need to upgrade our Tenno or when we can unlock another Tenno. Uh, I dig the loading screens on this game. There's not like a big load time either, but I like that you actually it lets you control your ship as you fly along. I see here I was the guy moving my ship, but the other dude didn't seem too keen on it. But I also remember that you could color your ship, like you could dye it. So uh, probably be doing that in the next episode, getting a dial on there, making it look kind of custom. Uh, there was three of the Tenno you could select from. This guy is playing as the other one. I'm pretty sure his name was Excalibur. I almost Darvo. went with him, but when He's I did my previous playthrough on on in back in the day, I played complex. as Excalibur, so I wanted to try something new. Went ahead and went with Vault here and wanted to see if he had any special abilities. 
Uh, I kind of like the way he handles. I like that you, if you're in a sticky situation, you can use a special and you're able to take out a few of them at a time. Uh, the mission at the beginning seems rather, rather easy for me. I've just played quite a few games, I guess, or maybe it's where I've ran through it before. And I know some mechanics already. But as you see here, I'm trying to just farm up some stuff while the other dude just kind of runs past. The must have found but uh, I'm not entirely sure what gun he has that wasn't available at the start so like I said I think you're able to purchase them as you go along it looks like some type of laser weapon he wasn't doing a lot of damage with it it seems though like the bow that I picked it's usually one two shot kill at this point in the game that one that he had it seemed like he had to hold uh, damage down hold the uh, damage on them to do more damage I mean he did all right for a teammate we both kind of just ran through uh, we didn't have any comms. I'm not sure if there's in-game chat or not. I didn't hear him. Maybe he just didn't have a mic. I had my mic plugged in, but he didn't seem to be speaking, and I didn't talk. So maybe that's why. But I'm not entirely sure if he has set like a voice channel or something like that. Uh, the mission was like relatively simple. We had to break into this compound and get this arms dealer and escort them out. Uh, at one point you'll see there's the option for me to give him his, my secondary weapon which is this revolver pistol that I picked up it's actually pretty strong but I decided to go ahead and give it to him because the sword gameplay the melee mechanic, mechanics in this game are really good you can just run up and basically one hit everybody so I thought I'd go ahead and give it to him at least he would have a weapon and it would be less likely for him to die or anything like that as you see here that was a different type of the Vox that I'd seen during this gameplay I hadn't, he must be like a level up from what we're going to see, so there's probably more and more as we go along, different type of enemies. Uh, the hacking part of the game, it seems like there's quite a bit of it, like an over excessive amount. They're not complex, but I feel like as we go along they're going to get more and more complex, but for now they're pretty easy, it's just a QTE, you just press the button exactly when it's on it. It's just very tedious that you're going to have to do it so many times. Like you've seen there, he had to hack one and I had to hack one, then another one, and then I had to hack two more just to get this guy out. It was a little bit tedious to go through, but still. And then we have to escort him out through all these guards. It's not complicated. It's just a rather simple mission. This was one mechanic that I really enjoyed. Uh, when you jump through the air and aim your weapon, you are able to go in slow motion, which is rather cool. The guy that I played with seemed to use it quite a bit while we were fighting here in this room. Um, I haven't got used to the mechanic yet. I feel like uh, when you ADS and you uh, fly through the air, it feels like you're going to uh, sensitivity is a little bit higher so it's harder to get headshots uh, I still like the mechanic though it seems uh, pretty cool for what we're doing uh, I didn't think they'd have something like that game like this I'm not sure if they had that in the base game when I played before they might have it's been a while so we just ran through here and like you see there the uh, mods are also dropped by enemies I picked that one up on one of the box. I'm sure there's like stronger enemies we can fight and get better mods as we go along. I'm not sure if there's like armor we can get as well. Armor mods would be pretty cool. Because uh, during this part, the leader of the box seemed to strip our shields away so we weren't not supposed to take any damage. So it wasn't too difficult, but I appreciate the gameplay mechanics they did add in. Like I said, it was a rather simple mission, just escort the passenger, pretty easy. Uh, we got through You've it with a little breeze, we'll got a few kills, here. took hardly any damage, got a couple mods unlocked, just progressed through the story slowly. I'll probably do some off-stream grinding and move along as I can. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm going to show you that I got that mod installed here in just a moment, and I'll probably leave it off there. Uh, I'm really enjoying this game quite a bit. It's a uh, breath of fresh air into the game from what I read from the update. We're just going to have to get a little bit farther along to see what's new added. Like I said, I wish I had been grinding before and just kept up with the game, but I hadn't been able to. Just newer games came out and I decided to play them. But yeah, guys, I went ahead and added that uh, mod update and we'll be adding more content for this. If you would, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And this has been King Die. Peace out, guys.